Good morning, folks. Thanks for your kind wishes yesterday and the patience from website members only getting one evening news the last three days. We're back in sixth gear. You're watching an older animation here from NASA, the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio. Veteran observers know we like to compare them to NOAA's similar group. I've put both animation sites in today's links as NOAA has just come out with this new one. They are constantly measuring the yearly growth and dissipation of the Antarctic ozone hole. It allegedly peaked late in September. This is from the Environmental Visualization Laboratory. Shots of ice on for the day actually is multiple turned into an animation. This is on spaceweather.com's gallery. And I'd like to note the increasing brightness of the comet, although Bruce Gary no longer believes it was due to that aforementioned outburst. Coming to the coast of Mexico, where Raymond may be about to leave, but until then, the coastlines are being significantly affected, and the shear to the north is driving enormous amounts of moisture northeast across the Gulf states. It's where it meets that cold air still streaming south from Canada, Alberta Clipper style. Lorenzo is not currently a threat out in the Atlantic. In Europe, the convergence line leading these lows dropped some tornadoes in France. The precipitation in southeast Australia was desperately needed, but is now about to move on. Solar wind telemetry reveals a density increase this morning. We are still awaiting that coronal hole stream, so be on watch for a speed ramp after the density falls. The earth-facing sunspots are fairly impressive. On the south, we have a massive umbra leading a magnetically moderate group that has not done much yet. Same could be set up north until this morning. We have two delta spots up there, perhaps even a third trying to develop. That's the flare maker, and they did just that firing an M-class solar flare this morning just as that large earth-facing filament up north destabilized and released. Stereo B shows most of that blast missed earth. Various surface ejecta events over the last 24 hours though have caused NOAA to suggest a minor interplanetary shock in two days. I do expect the Corona hole stream to be blowing then, making impact barely noticeable. Outward magnetic force of our star, somewhat mitigated by blocking coronal and umbral fields. The northern opening will face Earth today. Power could be affected by that filament eruption, but as of now, the trend is increasing force. Had a volcanic eruption at the Kamchatka Peninsula, and we're still taking unusual location rumbles, especially in the Atlantic. Space weather could be ramping soon, and more planetary conjunctions are a few days away. Shots of our star, JPL, and preset maps to close. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.